It is no news that small and medium scale enterprises are challenged with keeping afloat with the prolonged lockdown in major cities across the world in a bid to curb the spread of COVID-19. However, proper and strategic planning and preparation can go a long way. I am now joined by Moyo Olisa, TEF Entrepreneurship Program Manager. Hello, Moyo. Hello, Irene. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. Nice to have you on our news. Yes, um, regarding entrepreneurship, now how can the entrepreneur today hedge against the impact of COVID-19 on their businesses? So the COVID-19 pandemic has brought a change that we haven't seen a couple of generations now. Entrepreneurs are now having to reinvent themselves in order for them to remain relevant. And there are just two things that entrepreneurs need to know for them to survive this pandemic. They need to be innovative and they need to diversify their skill sets and their businesses. On innovation, entrepreneurs have to look for the gaps in the markets that are currently there. So right now, this pandemic has changed consumer demands. Consumers are now requesting for essential services. Entrepreneurs need to be able to reinvent their businesses in order for them to be able to plug into this particular market. They need to be able to provide essential services. Obviously, when the pandemic is over and the economy returns to normal, there will be higher demand for non-essential services as well. But for the meantime, they need to learn to be flexible and change their business model in order for them to be able to provide relevant products and services. And by defining their um, skill sets, basically entrepreneurs have to learn how to be more technologically savvy. Right now, only entrepreneurs who are able to apply um, digitalization from end to end in the operations of their business will be able to reap great benefits. Do you understand that? I mean, a number of them must have lost a few things in terms of their income because whether you like it or not, revenue still continues even though there's no inflow. So how can they prepare for a strong comeback post-COVID? So there are organizations that um, are supporting entrepreneurs this period. So organizations know that entrepreneurship is the key to unlocking wealth in africa right and you have financial institutions such as uba that provides sme loans to entrepreneurs across the continent and then in addition to loans there are also grants there are developmental bodies and other organizations like the tony limited foundation that provides grants to entrepreneurs entrepreneurs can decide to apply for this if they cannot apply for loans they can also apply for grants and it helps them get into a strong entrepreneurship network where they're able to learn from fellow entrepreneurs um, who are already doing innovative things in the entrepreneurship space. So would you suggest that this is a good time to seek further loan to support their businesses? Um, I would say that this is the time for them to decide if um, if they would like to take a loan or they would like to take a grant. So the foundation, for example, the Kenya Mill Foundation, um, has an entrepreneurship program through which we're able to empower African entrepreneurs. We provide them with seed capital funding, training, um, access to networks and um, the access to the largest digital platform for African entrepreneurs called TEF Connect. So entrepreneurs who are able to apply to foundations such as ours will be able to um, not just have grants, but they'll, they'll also get the skill sets that they need to know how to use um, funding in different parts of their businesses. But um, because of time, let's just take the last... What exactly, what advice would you give to on, you know, those of them that have lost their jobs at this point? So um, I would say that they shouldn't lose hope. So we understand that this change has resulted in um, a lot of organizations having to let a lot of people go. But this is a time for them to step back and think about how they can reinvent themselves. This is a time for them to learn new skills. This is a time for them to identify gaps in the market and see how they can provide products and services that can fill these gaps. This is actually a great time for African Africans and African entrepreneurs in the sense that if they can train their minds to be able to see every problem as an opportunity, they would be able to come out of this great. Thank you so much, Moyo. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Irene.